first of important fact about the structure that we should remember, and you probably already know from your basic biochemistry courses. So protein structures, proteins are defined by amino acids. And amino acid has a, a side chain. And uh, in general, as we said, there are 20 amino acids, but there are some that are modified after post photosynthesis. Polyselenium and thionine is the most important one. Um, so, and the side chains have different properties. So you can divide them into groups. They are hydrophobic, polar, charged, positively negative charged, aromatics, small, big. So there are a number of groups you can divide them into. Maybe six groups is a good, very good way to define them. Uh, and uh, these properties is what determines how proteins interact, and how proteins fold, and proteins uh, look like. So unless you already know this, you should have probably have a look up uh, in a biochemistry textbook or on the web about the different properties of amino acids. Another property of amino acids is they are only in the L form, but there are exist some D form amino acids that are um, can be produced by enzymes. Uh, yeah. Another thing is that when the, during synthesis, these amino acids are, are, are merged together to form a long chain, and uh, for, 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 for form a peptide bond, peptide linkage, and uh, that's an enzymatic reaction. Uh, and of course, we know that it occurs in the ribosome. So. Uh, from a structural point of view, it's important to know that this peptide bond, peptide linkage, is basically quite rigid. So it's basically like you have a double bond between the C and N, but it's actually, although it's not a double bond, but that's because the, the, the hydrogen is distributed between these amino acids. So that's, um, that means it's very hard to rotate. So in, for practical purpose, you can assume this planar bond. This means that you have two dihedrals that are basically determining the structure of the backbone chain. So you have phi and psi angles that are rotating, and they can of course rotate about uh, uh, freely, more or less, but what happens if they rotate is that the other atoms, particularly side chains, are have a risk of colliding with each other. So, and that is also not very favorable. So therefore, some particularly um, bonds are more preferred than others. And also, what you want to do is, the other thing you want to do is to form hydrogen bonds. But the description of phi and psi angles is often depicted in what is called a two-dimensional plot, we call it a phi psi plot or a Ramachandra plot. And this is this Ramachandra plot is what makes out the secondary structures and work mainly by uh, uh, my early work was showed that there were basically two types of secondary structures. Here is the sheets, and this resulted in what we call a hierarchical level of protein structures. And the primary sequence, the primary structure, and the secondary structure that is here can be detected, detected by, uh, by uh, helix. And then you have a third structure that describes how the protein is folded, and you have a quarter that describes how different parts of proteins are interacting. <coughs> 